Yesterday I received an email from Epic Pan, introducing highlighted cursor and fading ink. New features have been added to my favorite annotation tool. So that means that my previous video on Epic Pan is outdated. They've even introduced a new pricing model. More about it later in the video. So it's about time to do a new full review of Epic Pan Pro. The features that I'm reviewing in this video are part of the Pro Pain plan. But the nice thing is that you can try the Pro version with a 30-day free trial. So if you want to follow along, go to the description, click the link and download your free trial. And if you like Epic Pan and you'll be ready to move to the Pro version, then watch the video till the end because I'll share with you a 20% discount coupon. So first of all, what is Epic Pan? Well, it's kind of an annotation tool on steroids and it is by far my favorite one. I use it to explain content on my display while screen sharing on Zoom, but I also find it very useful when recording video tutorials with OBS. If I now launch Epic Pan, it tells me that an update is available. So let me install it because I'm really curious and eager to show you the new features. After installing the new version, it asked me to re-input my activation code. So let's do that and activation successful. The Epic Pen toolbar doesn't take much space on your screen and can be moved around as needed. Let's start from the top. The eye icon serves to hide the annotations. But since we don't have any annotation yet, let's start from the second icon. The default one is cursor. But now if we click on it, one of the two new features appear and that's highlighted cursor. It puts a semi-transparent ring centered on your cursor, so it's easy to follow when you move around the screen. When you click with your mouse, the ring pulsates, so indicating to your audience that you've performed an action. You can even change the color of the highlight, and as we'll see in a second, even the size. I don't know if other annotation tools offer all these options for the highlighted cursor, and if you're aware of it, please let me know in the comments. But I haven't seen it elsewhere so far and I think it's really, really nice. The next icon is for the other new feature, the vanishing ink. So let me pick the pen tool and draw a red line. By default, the ink will stay there. But now if I go to the vanishing ink icon, I see there are four options. By selecting one of them, any inking that I do on screen will vanish and it will do it at four possible different speeds. So if I draw another line, it will disappear. But the great thing is that it doesn't just work for drawing. With the vanishing inking icon selected, I can use any tool and make content vanish. Like I can write some text, and it will disappear. A straight line and it vanishes. The same for shapes and my favorite arrow tool. Now that I have some permanent inking on screen, let's test the eye icon. If I click on it, then any content I've added with Epic Pen will be hidden. It will not be deleted. So if you need to show it again, just click on the eye icon once more. In addition to the pen, there is also a highlighter tool. You have four available shapes, line, ellipse, rectangle, and my favorite one, the arrow. The next tool is the eraser. Guess what? It just erases content. That's a small thing though that I don't know whether it's a bug that needs to be fixed or it's intentional. That is that if the vanishing ink is active, then the eraser doesn't work. And actually there is no message telling me that I should deactivate the vanishing ink icon. So maybe this is a little message for Epic Pan. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. You will help me keep producing good content for you. Thank you. The next icon is the thickness feature and you can use it to increase the thickness of your annotations. If you've watched my other video, you'll know that the arrow tool is my favorite one. And actually I like to use it a little bit thicker than the default one like this one. The inking size, as well as the text size, can also be modified by scrolling the mouse wheel. But the thickness tool doesn't only change the thickness of the inking, you can also use it to change the size of the cursor highlighter, as I anticipated earlier. The next feature is undo, which is self-explanatory. Then we have the trash bin icon, which will delete all annotations on screen. And then there are the blackboard and whiteboard features. Choosing one of the two will turn your screen into black or white respectively. And we'll allow you to draw on a blackboard or whiteboard. The next feature is the screenshot one. It allows to define a region of the screen and you also have an indication of the pixel dimensions and then take a screenshot, copy it to the clipboard or save it as an image. The last icon brings us to the menu. 
Here we can access the settings, the general ones, then you can define the quick access colors, some screenshot and whiteboard settings, and an important one is the ghost mode that allows you to hide the Epic Pen Pro toolbar and continue using tools with just the hotkeys. That's useful if you're working with one screen only and you don't want to capture the Epic Pen toolbar. And speaking of hotkeys, this is actually an important topic. Working with your mouse and clicking on the appropriate icons on the Epic Pen toolbar is feasible but if you're planning to use Epic Pen regularly and you want to have quick access to some of the tools, like for example the arrow tool, then working with hotkeys is something that you should definitely consider. Each function has its own hotkey and you can press the keys on your keyboard to activate it. But if you want to become an annotation and facilitator master, then I'd really suggest you invest some money in an Elgato Stream Deck. Stream Deck is a control pad. It has programmable LED keys and a hotkey or a sequence of hotkeys can be assigned to each key. So instead of working with your keyboard, you can program the Elgato Stream Deck and then just press one button to activate the arrow or another button to activate the eraser and so forth. There is a new version of the Stream Deck, but I still have the previous one, which is still available for sale and that is really, really good. If you're interested in it, I'll put my Amazon affiliate link in the description below. The last feature at the bottom allows you to choose among 24 colors. If you're using a drawing pad like me, I'm using the Wacom Intuos, and Epic Pen supports full pen pressure sensitivity. If you click on the eye icon and hide the annotations, the annotations will stay on screen regardless of the app that you're showing on your display. So if I hide the annotations from here, and then change the browsing window. When I click on the I again, the annotations will appear as they were. And now let's get to the pricing model because there are news there too. The free basic version with limited features is still there. But if we look at the pro plan, we realize that Epic Pen has moved to a subscription model. Before the pro plan was selling at a one-time purchase of 24 Swiss francs. That's because I'm in Switzerland, but that was equivalent to about $24. Now changed to two francs a month if billed annually. That makes 24 francs per year. So one time life purchase now gone and for the same price you get one year. This is not just Epic Pen. It's something that we're seeing across all applications. So like it or not, that's the way it is. So the question is, is it worth the investment? Well, for people like me, yes, definitely. If you record video tutorials or do explainer videos, or you really want to look professional when you share your screen on Zoom or Teams, then definitely go for it. And the good news is that I have a 20% discount coupon for you. Just check the description below and provide the code upon checkout. And if you're a user of Epic Pen, then let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, if you want to take your digital communication productivity skills to the next level, watch this next video.